If you're like me and you struggle to gain weight, drinking your calories can make a huge difference. This peanut butter chocolate shake has 828 calories and this strawberry one has 680. The key to gaining weight and growing muscle is eating enough to support growth. And these shakes are packed with energy and protein without being too voluminous that they're hard to eat. Here's how you make them. Let's start with the peanut butter chocolate shake, which clocks in at 828 calories and 54 grams of protein in one 20 ounce drink. Place a blender pitcher over a scale and add in one cup or 240 grams of 2% milk. If you want even more calories, whole milk would be the sub of choice. Next, add in one third of a cup or 75 grams of full fat plain Greek yogurt. This will help provide a thicker shake-like texture. Then add in half of a cup or 40 grams of rolled oats. The oats will provide some carbs to help bump up the caloric load even further. You can play around with these to add more or less in order to match what you're looking for. You could also pick out a cereal to use if you don't like the idea of using raw oats. Next, add in one scoop or 30 grams of protein powder. I'm using vanilla here because that's what I have available to me, but to give it a more authentic chocolate flavor, I'm also adding five grams of cocoa powder. Chocolate flavored protein is clearly something that could also be used. Toss in one medium frozen banana or 125 grams worth. The frozen banana helps give it a creamier texture and a cooler temperature when compared to a regular one. Add in one tablespoon or 19 grams of chocolate syrup for sweetness. And then lastly, two tablespoons or 32 grams of peanut butter. One other thing you could do if you're a sicko is add in some spinach to sneak in some greens. I couldn't be any less into that right now. So we'll see you later, get lost. Pop on the lid and throw the container onto the blender. I turn it on high speed until everything is smooth. If you'd like this to be more like a milkshake, you could add some ice cubes. It will add some volume, but I think it's a nice touch. I wish I had ice to add. I just don't keep any ice in my house because I think ice makes glasses smell funny and I don't like that. So I exclusively drink room temperature water and that leaves me with no ice when I need it in situations like this. Once the shake is smooth, pour it into a glass and everybody knows the higher the pour, the better it will taste. And I want it on record that I would have gone all the way up to the stratosphere, but the overhead camera got in the way. And there is our peanut butter chocolate weight gain shake, 828 calories and 54 grams of protein. The template for the strawberry shake is almost identical. Place the blender over a scale and pour in one cup or 240 grams of 2% milk. Then add in one third of a cup or 75 grams of plain full fat Greek yogurt and two thirds of a cup or 150 grams of frozen strawberries. Any frozen fruit will work here, pick whatever you like. Add in one scoop or 30 grams of vanilla protein powder. I used whey, but any kind of protein should work in these. Throw in half of a cup or 40 grams of oats for some extra carbs. Dried fruit is fairly calorically dense for its small amount of volume, so to help bump up the caloric load in this shake, I'm going to add three tablespoons or 30 grams of raisins. You don't have to add these, you could just do extra oats, but the raisins will help keep the total volume down a bit. Lastly, for sweetness, squeeze in one tablespoon or 21 grams of honey, then pop on the lid and blend it until it is smooth. Again, feel free to add some ice before blending if you want to have a more milkshake-like texture. I yielded about 22 ounces of total liquid from this one, so it didn't all quite fit in the glass. This strawberry weight gain shake has about 680 calories with 45 grams of protein to help you get in that energy that you need to grow. If you want to make them look cute and taste extra good, you can top them with some whipped cream. Get back up there, you little shit. The nice thing about these weight gain shakes is that you don't have to cook anything and it's an easy road to 7 to 800 calories. They will only take you 5 minutes or so to make, and if you find yourself in a calorie hole at the end of your day during a bulk, it isn't too difficult to throw one of these down the hatch. Or you can make it in the morning, keep it in the fridge, and sip it throughout the day. Anytime I've ever successfully gained weight, a shake like this has been a staple in my diet. My two biggest struggles when gaining weight are always physically trying to eat enough to actually grow, and then accepting that with some of the muscle growth is also going to come some fat with it. I'll be cruising along, gaining weight fine for a couple of weeks, then I'll catch a glimpse of myself in the mirror and I'll say, ew, you fat slob, you're disgusting. And then I'll stop the bulk immediately. So if you're in the same boat as me and you find yourself slogging away day after day, trying to get more and more calories into your body, try out one of these shakes. You may find the liquid nutrition is easier to get down and it doesn't leave you feeling so full all the time. Okay, bye.